What's up guys, Laidback Gaming here bringing you the third episode of the Halo Reach 4 tutorials. In this episode I'm going to be showing you how to make a bank spiral. The past episode I showed you how to make a hill which is right here. And then I showed you how to make you just your bank, uh, your basic uh, bank turn right here. And uh, I made this while I was off, it just kind of made a little tiny jump right here. And uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a bank spiral uh, today. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, for bank spirals, what I usually use, this is just me, of course, I go, I usually go to inclines and I will use, uh, ramp extra larges, um, that's just my preferred piece for, um, uh, for the bank spiral. I don't know why, I think, I just think, uh, I think these look really good when you're making bank spirals, this is what looks good. And for the people that have not seen the past episodes, I'm just going to go over a couple of things, just for the people that, you know, really hadn't seen the past episodes, and, uh, basically, uh, you know, of course, everybody knows, you know, LB, RB moves up and down like that. You can see how it moves up a lot. If you hold in the left analog stick, it, like, hardly moves at all. So if you, you know, you're trying to push in a piece uh, to a certain object and you want it to be smooth, then you hold in the left analog stick and put, and then you click your LB and RB and it'll go in a lot smoother. Um, and then, of course, uh, to move your objects, you use your right uh, analog stick, your right trigger, and use your uh, right and left analog stick to move objects. Um, so that's you know, forging is really basic. It's really it's really simple. You catch on after you you know do it so many times. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be a bank spiral for racetracks for the people that don't know how to make that. And uh, if you haven't already seen uh, seen the other episodes, the uh, hill and the jump and the uh, um, and the uh, regular bank turn, then feel free to go check out my channel. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description. There might be an annotation in this video, I'm not sure. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description to my channel, Laidback Gaming. Uh, so feel free to go check that out. And um, the forging, there be there should be a playlist somewhere on there that will have the forging tutorials on there. And y'all can uh, be sure to go check that out and uh, look at those. Uh, so for a spiral, uh, you, what you want to do is you want to start out, I mean, you're going to go up. You don't have to go up too much. It depends on how... Uh, you know, drift, drifty. I guess you could say. Uh, you want your spiral to be. You can have it. Uh, you can have it. You know, be really like drifty to where it's like really steep, or you can just have it like really. You know, just kind of flat and still make it a spiral. It's just however you want it. It's however much you uh, bring it up. But for a spiral, you're gonna you're gonna want to turn it, and at the same time, you're gonna want to be bringing it up a little bit. Um, and that's just so when you come around, when you're gonna when you're gonna come above the track that you're on right now. Uh, this part over there, uh, you're going to be above it, and that's why you bring it up. Uh, you don't have to bring it up now. If you want to just have it flat, you can have it completely flat. It really doesn't matter. Uh, it's just, you know, it's however you want to make it. Um, and uh, for people, if you're wondering, of course, uh, you can tell kind of by the video, I do not use uh, rotation snap or uh, edit coordinates. Uh, that's just how I forge. I don't use it. I've never used it. Um, I mean, there's there, well, I'm not, I can't say I've never used it. There are certain times in maps where I'll use it if I'm just really lazy and I just want to uh, get through one part real fast, and I'll be like, okay, whatever, I'll use it. But I don't, I don't use it when I'm making turns. Um, my main reason is because I feel like uh, I feel like there's angles that you can't really make when you're using uh, rotation snap and stuff. So. Uh, just because of that, do that fact, I will you. I'll just freehand it. It does take longer, um, but there are better angles you can get when you freehand, and uh, you, you can get better angles when you freehand. And I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't know why I do it. It's just I've done it since Halo 3, so I guess that's why I'm doing it now. And hopefully this video won't be too long. The past video has have been pretty fairly long. Um, I think the hill video was about 15 minutes, and uh, the bank turn was uh, impressively surprisingly like 30 minutes and that's because I showed you how to I, I finished off the hill during that video which I shouldn't have I should have done that like when I was uh, you know not making the video and uh, but that's not a big deal um, I guess um, so we're all actually I'm actually doing this fairly quickly I'm kind of surprised and uh, let me know in the comments guys if uh, you know just watching me do this and kind of showing you and telling you a little bit of how to do it if this actually helps you uh, make one because I need to know this. Uh, you can see, I mean, it's like already, It's you can already tell where it's uh, coming around a little bit. Um, so you just want to continuously, um, you want to continuously keep turning, and at the same time, you're going to continue to bring your track up a little bit. And like I said before, there's different there's different ways to make them. You can make it where it's more steep, and, and the track is uh, a lot more steeper than this. Or you can make it to where um, it's hardly steep at all, 
and it still is a spiral. So, I mean, there's just uh, multiple different ways to make it. I usually make mine. I like to make my um, bank spirals really steep and uh, to where, you know, your mongoose is like drifting and kind of sliding uh, when you're in the middle of the turn. I think that's a really cool thing to do, and I, I love racing on that type of stuff. Um, but this one is not going to be that steep at all. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I've got examples on my channel of, you know, tracks that have this in them. If you want to see something, I've got it, my track called Synthetic. It has uh, has uh, actually multiple uh, bank spirals on there. If you want to see examples of those, um, like what it looks like to race them and stuff, then you can check that out. Um, you'll be, you can be sure to check that out. Um, so yeah, um, we're actually about halfway done. I'm fixing, I'm going to put this block down and then we'll go and race it and uh, see how smooth it is. It looks fairly smooth so far and uh, hopefully uh, it'll be pretty smooth. And uh, I'm going to continue for the people wondering. Um, I'm going to continue to be making these series. I'm going to be next episode. I'm going to be showing, which I'm not sure how often these videos will be out, guys, because I've got school and stuff. I'm hoping to get one out every two weeks or something like that, because I've got so many other, you know, videos that I'm currently doing on my channel as well, other than this. So you know, it just depends really. Also, when you're forging, you want to check both sides. Um, that's one thing because you want to make sure you know one side might be like really high and stuff and you'll have to move it down to keep it smooth uh, but you can already see um, about not halfway a little bit uh, less probably about you know 35 40 percent done already uh, so I'm doing this fairly quickly here's gonna be this is like the little jump type thing and I might not have speed because I moved my monkeys back now it's good uh, so that's a pretty smooth landing and so far this is really smooth as well uh, so we'll whoops uh, we'll continue to make this um, here we go, and uh, oh yeah, I already mentioned that. I was gonna say uh, go check out those uh, other tutorial videos, um, and also guys in the comments, if there's anything that uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, uh, what all I'm gonna do tutorials over. So in the comments, feel free to just leave a, a question like, uh, can you do a tutorial over this? Can you do a tutorial over that? And uh, eventually, when I get done with my main uh, tutorials that I'm already planning on doing. And if I can show you a tutorial on that, I'll be sure to make a video because I'm just trying to help you all out uh, any way I can. Um, so, you know, leave a comment. If, you, if there's a question you have about anything, I'll be sure to uh, I'll be sure to answer that. Or, you know, if you don't want to leave a comment for some reason, um, you can go to my channel, Layback Gaming. You can send me a personal message. I don't have friend lock on or anything like that. So you can send me a personal message and just title it like Forest Tutorials or something like that, and I'll be sure to look at it. I do get a lot of messages and some of them are really pointless but if you title it Forge Tutorials I know that you really need help and uh, that you ask you have a question about something um, and usually if you I mean if you if you're wanting me to get on Xbox and talk to you that uh, that's you know rare to happen uh, just because I don't have much spare time and my friends list is full and it's just uh, just yeah but I mean if you have a question just uh, you know shoot me a personal message or leave a comment and I'll be sure to try to get uh, to you with that and help you out with that but I'm hoping, I mean, I feel like this is the main stuff people want to, uh, uh, want help on is the, like, the actual track itself. And I feel like, you know, if I make these tutorials, being able to watch me and watch me just slowly, progressively make a track, I think, if y'all follow all the tutorials, um, that, uh, that I will, um, or that you will, uh, continue to get better and, you know, progressively, uh, get better as a forger and that this will help you. Uh, so hopefully I'm good at explaining things. You know, if I didn't explain something good, let me know in the comments. So for my next episode that I do, I'll be able to try to explain stuff better. I don't know how good I am explaining. Uh, the past two episodes, people have liked so far. They said they were fine, and they thought that I uh, got my point across on, uh, you know, how to make this and, you know, uh, what to do and stuff. So hopefully um, that'll be okay. And sometimes if you if you go up with your spirals, this is one thing. If you're going, if you're going to constantly go up and constantly turn, there is one thing that can happen. Uh, it usually happens at least uh, when you when you finish out on your spiral, it's going to be a little bit angled because you're constantly going up. So when you finish off your turn, it's just going to be a little bit angled. That's just how it's going to be. Um, usually when I come off a spiral, I'll make a uh, I'll make a banked wave, and that's why I'm going to be doing that next episode. Um, I usually make a bank spiral, and then if you've seen my maps, you'll see a you, you'll see a spiral, and then you'll see like a wave. Uh, not all the times, uh, but usually when I make a spiral, I go straight into a wave. And you can that's uh, actually I think every track is like that. Gyrate I had a have I had many spirals, and right after the spiral I had uh, waves. Uh, synthetic I had spirals, and right after the spirals I had waves. Um, so it's just it's just like I guess it's just something I just do. 
and and stuff. So I'm hoping this video is going pretty fast. I get kind of caught up and stuff, and I don't even know how long I'm taking usually. So hopefully I'm not taking too long. Also, I'm hoping I'm not rambling a bunch because I tend to do that from time to time on on each video I make. Um, but hopefully I'm not doing that. We'll make this go down a little bit. I hate it when uh, I hate it when you get stuck on one part of the map because it's just like really hard to make one part smooth. Like one block's just not getting in the right place, just how you want it or whatever. I, that's like uh, that makes me so mad. And that's the only bad thing I think to freehanding is that people are really impatient, and I am too. I can't lie. I won't lie. I mean, I mean, I'm impatient, really impatient. Um, so you know, freehanding can get annoying. Um, but I, I. I there's some turns that I feel like, you know, rotation snap, it's got to be kind of hard to make a turn with a rotation snap, like uh, a spiral or something like that. I mean, maybe it's not. I'm, I'm wrong because, I mean, I, I know guys regret's done it before. and um, But it's just for me, I just, I don't know, I just I just can't do it. And that's just me. I mean, if y'all can do it, then you just do it the way you know how to do it. It's I mean, it's not like you have to freehand to make a spiral. Uh, there's, it's, you know, many people have made spirals doing uh, rotation snap as well. It's freehanding. Um, so, this is, this is what I hate. You get in that one spot where you go a little bit too high on one side, and then uh, I think that'll be all right, actually. Um, move it up a little bit. And you can see where I'm telling about taking both sides, because one side might be higher than the other every once in a while. Uh, so, so far, it actually looks really good. I'm surprised. Uh, you know, forging. I'm forging fairly fast. Well, at least for freehanding. I'm sure you could forge faster than this when you're uh, using rotation snap. Um, but again, it all depends on what you're using. Um, so, let's see. I'm actually fixing to race it again uh, just to make sure that everything's going, going fine. I know it is, but I just I have that feeling that I need to race it again for some reason. I usually, when I'm making a track, I actually get caught up and don't even race it for like three turns. And I'm like, oh, crap, I probably need to test this thing out. And then there's something wrong, and then and then I have to go back and fix it all, which can get kind of annoying. But it usually isn't actually t too big of a deal. A lot of people wonder, you know, how pissed people get if they have to redo a part of the track. And if you, if you think, you know, you get extremely pissed and you'd be like, you wouldn't want to finish the map. Uh, but really, if you go back and you have to fix a turn, it really it doesn't take as long as you think it would. You would think it would take a lot longer and would be actually kind of hard and difficult to... Uh, to uh, redo a whole turn, but it really actually, surprisingly, it doesn't take that long. And um, so a lot of people think forging is just like hours upon hours upon hours to make a good map, but there are actually a lot of people out there that can make a map, a good map, like really fast. And um, yeah, so there's a lot of people out there. Anybody can do it. Anybody can make maps like this. So anybody out there that wants to know how to forge, that's watching this tutorial and, you know, wants to get help from this, you can all forge just as good as this. It just takes practice because I promise, like, before I forged, or when I first forged, at least, it was it was horrible. Like, I can't even describe to you how bad I was at forging. Um, but, you know, once you continuously do it over and over again, uh, then you'll continuously get better and eventually will get really good. And, you'll continue to get better as you continue to forge. So we'll see how this works. That jump actually is pretty smooth, I'm surprised. Uh, so yeah, this is actually a really good, nice long turn. Um, it's going well so far, so we're uh, we're halfway done with it already. Uh, so hopefully we're not too far into the video. I would show you how long, I would tell you how long we are into the video, but uh, I'm kind of away from my computer and I'm too lazy to walk over there right now, in the middle of a commentary. Uh, oh, also, um, I have one thing to say. Uh, for the intro at the beginning, Guys, uh, if you wanted to the the Halo Reach Force tutorials intro, if a lot of you are might have I don't know if you are or not, but uh, so I've had some people asking me, you know, who made your intro and stuff like that. The person that made my intro, he's got a YouTube channel and his name is Redemption. Um, he makes crazy intros. He's a professional at making intros. He does charge, but it's uh, it's fairly cheap and uh, as you can tell, well worth it. If you really are serious about getting an intro, then. Uh, uh, for sure, go subscribe to him. Send him a personal message about getting one, and uh, you know he may, he's great at what he does, as you can tell, um, obviously. Uh, so yeah, he's made me two intros actually. He's actually made me an intro for the top ten racetracks. Uh, I don't know if any of you have seen that on my channel. Uh, he has made me a intro for that, and he's made me an intro for this. So be sure to check that out, guys. Um, check him out and subscribe to him. Uh, he actually is very fairly unknown for you know how good he is. 
Um, he's only got like 500 subscribers, which is a pretty good amount. But, you know, compared to like the really popular, uh, I guess, graphic artists and intro makers and all that crap, he's not that popular. Uh, so help him out. Um, he really does need more attention than he gets. And he does a good job what he does. And I'm really appreciative for him making this in these intros for me because uh, they're awesome. Um, so just thought I'd give a shout out to him while I'm making this video because I've got nothing else to talk about. Because uh, I've already kind of explained what to do with the spiral. I hope I've explained it good. And I hope you all catch on. And I mean, I feel like even without explaining it, that um, just by watching, just by watching me, you'll be able to kind of uh, grasp how you need to make this and what you need to do to make a spiral. Um, so hopefully, even if the explaining was crap, which it's, it's very possible that my explaining abilities are pretty freaking poor, uh, so, yeah, even without, you know, being able to, explaining it good, I still feel like, you know, just being able to watch the video, watch me forge a map, I feel like that would help you out a lot, because a lot of people said, you know, I don't even have to explain it good, as long as they can just see me make it, they can, they'll be able to make one just as good, so, um, so we'll see how that works. And, uh, guys, you know, if this, if this really does help you, uh, be sure to like and favorite the video, it really does help a lot, you know, if you like and favorite my videos, um, it helps a ton, and uh, if this if this helped, then uh, please you know like and favorite, leave a comment, uh, let me know what you thought about the video as well, and if you thought it was good and stuff, if it helped you, it really does uh really does make me feel good when you know I get feedback from my videos. I mean, of course, negative feedback is not always the best thing, but it it is a good thing because you do need negative feedback to get to continue to get better at stuff. But if you I mean if your comment negative feedback comment or whatever has nothing to do with anything and does not help me at all, then please don't post it. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, uh, in the description, I or it might even be in the related videos, be able to find the um, uh, the other Halo Reach Force tutorials. If not, you can just go to my channel, and you can find them on my channel at Laidback Gaming. There's going to be a link in the description to my channel, of course, and uh, you can check it out there. Uh, so we're getting pretty close to the end. In the end, you don't want a lot of people think to you know raise it up a bunch. Uh, when you're getting close to the end again, like you did at the start, you don't want to do that. I mean, you want to raise it up a little bit when you get towards the end, uh, depending again, depending on how you want it to, uh, how you want the turn to uh, finish, I guess. Um, I don't raise it up too much. I raise it up a little bit, but I don't raise it up that much at the start. Uh, I mean, at the end. Um, so I just raise it up a little by little t when I start getting to the end, and you'll be able to see how that kind of makes it even out a little bit. But it's going to be angled, of course, because of, um, I kind of you know when you raise the track up like this it's gonna be really angled and that's just how it is <laughs> um you can't do anything about that unless you just i mean that's why that's why they, I mean, there's different ways to make stuff and i feel like i feel like with um rotation snap you can't get all those angled angles down or whatever or whatever i can't even talk right now uh yeah i feel like with the rotation snap you can't get all those angles down and it's harder to you know make certain uh, turns and tracks and stuff like a banked wave. I feel like would be really hard with a rotation snap. Of course, it's been done before. Uh, you can prove me wrong. It's been done before. Um, so, but again, it's just me. I don't like. I just don't. I just never have used rotation snap. Uh, I guess I don't find a need for it. Um, to be honest. <laughs> um, oh yeah, one question, guys, that you can answer for me in the description. Or the description, the uh, comments is uh, a lot of people have been asking me uh, to make a tutorial over aesthetics, and like I guess I could, but the thing is, is I'm not the best with aesthetics. Uh, if you want to like ask something somebody about uh, aesthetics, I'd ask Di Diabolical D. He's crazy at it. Um, but I mean, I can make an episode over it. It's just I don't think that the uh, aesthetics that I tell you about are going to be the most amazing things. But just let me know in the comments. Um, I mean, you've seen some of my tracks. Uh, well, I mean, I think you have at least. Uh, if you haven't seen my tracks, then again, you can just go check them out. Um, but uh, yeah, I just want to know, you know, if y'all want me to make a episode over uh, aesthetics or not, I can do it if you want me to. It's just I am not sure how good the aesthetics will be or if it will even help you or not. Um, you just have to let me know in the uh, comments again, guys. So, um, so. I'm I can tell by how long I've been talking. This video is probably fairly long, uh, but hopefully not long enough to bore you. I do ramble a bunch, so if you know you don't even need the explaining, just I guess you could just open it up another tab and turn on some music and just completely tune me out and watch me forge. If uh, my voice is that annoying, according to God's regret, I have some soothing voice that is uh, unbelievable. 
I don't know where he gets that from, but apparently my voice is very soothing, so you can comment about that as well. I don't know if it is or not. Let me know if my voice is soothing, because God regret thinks it's very soothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know why I had to say that, but I just thought that was a funny thing to, to include in this video. Um, so we're actually almost done. I'm so glad because, I, oh gosh, I feel like I've been talking forever. Um, so yeah, at the end, you can you can raise it up a bunch. You don't have to raise it up a bunch. You can just keep it uh, kind of even where it's at. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to put probably four or five blocks more down uh, or something like that. And then we'll race it again, and that'll be it. Um, and, you know, if you like this video again, like I said, uh, be sure to like and favorite. It really does help a lot. And go check out my other videos um, on uh, on my channel, my other tutorial videos, and anything else that I have that you feel, you know, you want to watch or whatever. Uh, so go check that out. And uh, if you like my videos, then be sure to subscribe, guys, and uh, just look at my other videos. Check them out. Uh, so we're getting close, yay! And the next episode, guys, for people wondering, whenever that does come out, I don't know exactly when it will come out, but the next episode when it comes out will be over a banked wave. And if you don't know what that is, that's basically a turn. It's not like a bank spiral or a regular bank turn. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a bank turn, except you're you're turning while you're also slowly going down. So it's kind of like a, a hill and a turn in one, I guess you could say, something like that. Um, yeah, it's something like that, similar to that at least. Uh, so that's a really cool uh, part of the track. Uh, that's a really cool turn that you know really um, makes the track a lot better. Spirals do as well too. Uh, but banked waves really uh, revolutionized forging, I guess, in Halo 3 because uh, before you know nobody knew about it, and then finally a banked wave. Somebody made a banked wave, and then ever since then everybody's been making them in their maps, and it's kind of like a not a need. Uh, but a lot of people want to see banked waves in a map, and without one, they don't think it's as good. Um, which I don't know if that's the same in Halo Reach uh, forging community or whatever. But back in Halo 3, after the after uh, a banked wave came out, if you didn't have a banked wave in your map, uh, people were just like, "Okay, look, your map's not that good because it didn't have a banked wave in it." Uh, so that's something that a lot of people expect now to having uh, good maps. So yeah, y'all will be able to see um, that tutorial episode after um so here i'm gonna put this final block down and then we will end this and uh, i'll put you know uh, an annotation to uh, my channel if you want to go check that out and uh, subscribe there and i'll put an annotation into the last episode which was the banked turn which was probably be pretty annoying to watch because it's so long uh, somebody commented on there and said it started at 8 minutes and 31 seconds so when you get to the video just click 831 and maybe that'll help you out um, uh, so yeah, I'm going to race this real fast. As you can see, it's a complete spiral. Um, it goes all the way around, so that is a spiral for you. And we'll race this real fast. Getting my little mongoose here. Got a little shield door here because coming from the top of that, doing that entire turn is just a little bit fast. That jump actually does work pretty well, and it took me like one try to make it. So you can see it's just perfectly smooth. Uh, it's just, like, it's just, there's no bumps at all. Uh, so yeah, um... As you can tell, you know, if you watch this whole tutorial and you just make it like that, you can make a turn just like this, just as good. I promise anybody can make it. Um, and I'm going to, uh, if for the people that didn't know, I'm making this whole tutorial series, and I'm going to continue to make tutorial series as I make the track. And then when the track is done, I'm going to actually release it, and you'll be able to see um, how all these forging tutorials came into one big track. And, you know, any of y'all can make this. So um, uh, if you liked the video, uh, please like and favorite it. Um, leave a comment, give me some feedback about what you thought about the video, and let me know uh, if this helps you or not. I really want to know if this stuff helps you guys, if this is helping you at all. So be sure to let me know about that, guys. And uh, again, you know, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, be sure to check out my channel for other things like, uh, like this and some other uh, episodes on uh, custom games and maps and all that crap like that. So yeah, uh, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe if you like it. Thanks a lot, guys.